Hello, and what is going on, you guys? Hyperion Blue GT here. It's time to get ready to go round 9 for the final race in Test Season 2 for the 2022 series of the Gran Turismo World Series Nations Cup on GT7. Here we are right now. We are racing at Kyoto Driving Park Yamagita to have 6 laps for the number of players up to 16 in the grid start with full start check by having 3 choices of the Japanese rally base car will be ready to go by choosing the GR Yaris RC High Performance 2020, Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution Final Edition 2015, and the Subaru WRX Type S 2014 is good to go to be on the specified car to have regulations will be required to have tuning settings will be allowed. 315 horsepower or less on the power, check. 2,866 pounds or higher in the weight, check, nitrous cannot be installed, and tire choice, sports hard compound tires is all checked and good to go. We've been waiting for this for a very long time for having a good start out there from round 1 in Alsage test course to have three kinds of French hatchback cars to be suitable with some tuning work we'll be putting up with some good recommendation to be on the settings. So right now, the final race is about to go on folks. Since you may ever participate in menu book number 19 to be on the collection and for those who have ever watched my video in part number 19 in the full walkthrough. So looks like I got three kinds of good Japanese rally base car is about to go on to have a final showdown before the next season is about to be scheduled along with the 2022 series of the Toyota Gusu Racing GT Cup is now arriving in to be debuted in GT7. For my selection choice, I'm about to go with a Subaru WRX STI Type S with a brand new UDRS in Sportec is about to go on the way to have some preparation to be as a tuner car. So I spent with some preparation with some installed parts will be needed as well. But thank goodness, finally made it on time and now the final is about to go on the way to have a good perfection to choose one of the three Japanese rally base car will be suitable to be as a road car. So I have to do my best and go keep on racing to stay clean. Well folks, if you're new to my YouTube channel, go and click the subscribe button then leave a like and comment at the session down below. Check out the links on the description if you want to see more. Feel free to enjoy it anytime you want for the entertainment. Now it's time to get ready to start the final race in the Nations Cup in Test Season 2. Here we go, let's do this. Tonight's competition is about to go on the way to have a one-on-one -on -one showdown in two Japanese manufacturer brands in Rally Base Car to have a road car challenge to take 6 laps for the final round in Kyoto Driving Park Yamagita. In about 15 minutes before the race begin, there's going to be a lot of good GT players are joining session by choosing the Land Evo Final Edition 2015 and the Subaru WRS XTI Type S 2014. So here we go and let's have a competition time to go begin. Here we are folks. The final round in Test Season 2 for the 2022 series of the Gran Turismo World Series Nations Cup is about to begin. Lanibo vs Subaru WRX will go on the way to have a good showdown. And here's Cyberpunk in first place, Jay Florentino in second place, What the Dealy is here in third place in the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution, followed by Phelps Racing in fourth place, X9942 in fifth place on the Team Subaru. SMY Dini in Team Mitsubishi in 6th place, Junebox 51 in 7th place, Traveler 45 in 8th place, here's myself in the Subaru WRS STI with a UTRS in Sportec, Bato Sis in 10th place, here's Rat Flink, Mother 111 in 11th position, Sport Pro App in 12th place, 13th place, Yeo Dude in the Land Evo Final Edition 2015, GT Sabi is here in 14th place, Don Calzone VIP in 15th place, and we got 15 drivers, includes a 5 second to be on the grid star, will go on the way to have a full start checked, and good to be clear, and let's go you guys. 
the final race of the Nations Cup in Test Season 2 is about to go fast and all-wheel drive to be on the way. Good luck and have a very good successful clean race by the chance. UTRS Insportec takes turn 1 to be successful by a characteristic driving skills to take on with several opponents in the Land Evo X includes with the rest of the drivers in the same Subaru WRS STI Type S version is now going up to be on the S's to be entered in Sector 2. But here it comes. The next turn will be going on for the left corner to be on the flanking position to be on the inside of the apex. Better watch yourself. This will be giving a formation lineup to take the slipstream by using the radar. So many Land Evos and Subaru WRS are now coming in to take Sector 3 at the first chicane. The smoke is coming around and better watch yourself, it's about to go collision to have one driver is going to be well being overtake to have one Mitsubishi to be having some trouble on the first chicane. Let's call out for the instant replay for investigation. Alright, looks like everybody is doing well. There's one Land Evo to be losing control by going off the track in the first chicane. So note to self folks, during the first lap of the competition, always going to have to have one car at a time to be entered in the first and second part of the chicane before moving on to take the next lap. So now, UDRS InSportTech is currently in the number 7 position and its team Subaru will be catch up with two Land Evos in 5th and 6th place driven by Traveler 45 and SMY Dini. But here's GT Savy have left the lobby for only 14 drivers left standing before moving on in lap number 2. RSR Cyberpunk 2 takes the lap time to go faster in 1 minute and 54.221 seconds. Close call for Insportec to be going correctly to be on an ongoing chase before Junebox 51 overtakes in the same car. One piece to have at turn 1 and going up onto turn 2 to 3 followed by turn 4 and 5 at the S's will have to stay right on track on the apex before entered again at the end of sector 1 before moving on into sector 2 again. So let's keep things up smoothly folks. Characteristic driving to have the boxer spirit will have to do a good dual battle to have its own main rival Mitsubishi will be staying right in onto each other. But let's see how the top 3 driver is doing well out there to be entered after the first chicane. Sector 3 we go and we have Phelps Racing to be moving on in position 3 followed by Jay Florentino in 2nd place. RSR underscore Cyberpunk 2 is currently to be in the lead at the first hairpin before catching up into sector 4 at chicane number 2. Keep things up smoothly to have all-wheel drive characteristic of driving to be on the FF layout will do the opposite. But it's still all about having the Japanese rally base car will be suitable to be on the road surface to be well depends ever since the years of the history in the World Rally Championship. So let's go dive in and go overtake at Batosis in 8th place in the same Subaru WRS and coming in on to hairpin number 2 at the final corner and better make sure to have the inside wheel might have the chance before Insportec will be catched up with some several opponents in about 12 seconds up ahead in the total of gap. Here's the update on RSR underscore Cyberpunk 2 1 minute and 49.332 seconds to be well achieved in the faster lap after taking lap number 1. Well, everybody can handle it to take on for beating RSR Cyberpunk's lap time to do the challenge to go faster onto the rush. Let's see how things will might have to go well handled to have two Japanese manufacturer brands on the Subaru WRS and the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution will have to take the struggle to be on the battle of all the competition in the Nations Cup in GT7. So let's go again on to Sector 2. Junebox 51 is now currently in the 7th position. Traveler 45 is staying on to be on the right current position to have to go on the offense to have one of the Subaru drivers will be entered in the first chicane at Sector 3. So keep it up. Go on the offense for Subaru WRX will have to climb up the hill after the first chicane. Go defense to Traveler 45 while Bottle Sis is now going to have to stay on for the length of the gap. 
Here's hairpin number one coming in, and what the dealy have left the lobby for only 13 drivers left standing in the middle of lap number three before at the end of the halfway mark. Still, but anyone's game to have the final race in test season two to be on the highlights before RSR underscore Cyberpunk 2 takes to win by the excellent ongoing. Jay Florentino and Phelps Racing is stay right on top in the current position in second and third place. However, the fourth place driver is now gunning right in to take on Phelps Racing in third place before moving on into lap number four. But here comes the main straightaway to have a good current drivers between Subaru and Mitsubishi will proceed forward onto turn one again. Driving course does take some matters to have a good moment ever since in the Japanese all-wheel drive challenge back in the GT World Circuits. But clearly that you guys did a good proud job to take part in menu book number 19 to have three kinds of Japanese base rally cars will be doing a good recommend source for some specifications. So now, after leaving sector 1, climb up again onto sector 2 to be on the next turn to be at the left corner to have a good slightly advantage. And there goes 2 seconds driven by Junebox51 in Team Subaru while one of the drivers in Team Mitsubishi press on to be in the current position down the hill at the end of sector 2 before going in onto sector 3 again. Let's keep it up and do the inside of the apexes in turn 1 and 2 to be on the chicane. Stay on track and there goes a contact on SMY Dini. Better make sure to be very careful because friendly contact in the same manufacturer brand to be on to the first hairpin. Uh oh, this cannot be good. Traveler 45 in the Team Mitsubishi with a Lancer Evolution X Final Edition barely took a penalty for 5 seconds by colliding with another Land Evo car to be in a different position. So that makes UTRS Insportec has the opportunity to catch up with two drivers before after the hairpin number 2 to be at the last turn. Keep on track, better have to make sure to catch up to Balatosis in position number 5 and that means Traveler 45 and Junebox 51 will be the first one to be crossed the penalty line and Insportec takes it before enter lap number 5 for only one more lap to go. That's the ticket. UTRS Insportec moves forward to have a good excellent clean advantage to catch up on to Team Subaru in 5th place driven by Batosis in a different livery. So here comes the S-curves to be up the hill at the end of Sector 1. Now comes in for the second and third place driver in Sector 2. And we have Felt Racing to be catched up to X90042 in third position. Keep things up to have an excellent battle for second place will go underway folks. Jay Florentino can actually have to stay well guarded to be on the hard defense. Such a very fantastic Subaru versus Mitsubishi to have a good Nations Cup showdown to be on the books. But it's not over yet. Lap number 5 will be getting nearly there towards the end before the final lap is about to go on. Luckily for RSR underscore Cyberpunk 2 is still in the lead and here it comes before it entered in hairpin number 2 to take one more lap to go. 8 minutes since the start of the race and that means 10 minutes will be gained up onto the total time to see how RSR underscore Cyberpunk 2 can actually take the win by the podium. And here comes for the last update for the top 3 drivers in 2nd place. X90942 is moving on in the silver position on the number 2 spot. And that means Jay Florentino is dropped down onto the number 3 spot at the bronze. But heads up for UTRS Insportec is having a contact by SMY Dini in Team Mitsubishi side in the Land Evil X. Contact just barely made a call for Insportec. Sounds like calling a flashy signal might have a little bit reminder warning next time. Okay, here we go. The final lap is about to go on folks. One on one showdown for several drivers in Subaru and Mitsubishi will have to take the final duel at the end of test season 2. 
It all comes down to this, folks. RSR underscore Cyberpunk 2 is barely did a good ongoing success boat to be on the number one spot, while Jay Florentino is stay in to be on the number three spot at still. Catching up onto X9042 is the number one main goal for Jay Florentino can actually have to keep on going to do some good clean racing skills to be on the main ongoing battle. And don't forget for the fourth place driver is still out there to be right behind with the other two drivers in second and third place. Keep it up, looks like Cyberpunk 2 is coming in to be at the second chicane before entered at the final turn in hairpin number two. This is gonna be it. RSR underscore Cyberpunk 2 is about to have a final stretch and takes on to have a good, excellent round nine victory win in the Nations Cup for test season two of the 2022 series in the Nations Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, it's RSR underscore Cyberpunk 2 takes the win at the checker flag in the podium. Now that is a very good, awesome race out there, folks. A very good, awesome, one-on-one -on -one Japanese manufacturer showdown to have two all-wheel drive sports car to be well capable to be as a base rally car. Now that's competition for RSR underscore Cyberpunk 2 and this is going to be a very good successful race well done at the end of the season folks. Good job and a very good opportunity race successful to be at the finish line. Jay Florentino is finishing third place along with X90942 and there you have it Team Subaru takes a 1-3 finish to be well achieved to be successful to be beating by its main rival Mitsubishi is doing a good race well done on to the ninth round 35 seconds left before the race is over and here comes Don Calzone VIP takes the 13th position in Team Subaru with a different livery on the WRX STI Type S 2014. Finally made it on 13th place by the finish line and there you have it folks. A wonderful one-on-one -on -one manufacturer showdown is a very good moment to be on the highlights. But luckily for myself, Team UDRS in Sportec have finished in 7th place with a clean race to be having a good will achieve race position by 2. Such a very good, excellent competition ever since in the Japanese four-wheel drive is doing much remarkable. Credits to be complete, filling out on the daily workout. Good game, folks. Very good game and replay to be saved onto my library. So congratulations to one of the three drivers in the Subaru WRX STI Type S 2014 goes to RSR underscore Cyberpunk 2 X Knight 0942 and J Florentino. Time to do some typing and give a good proud receive congratulations respond to the three drivers for doing a successful well done. One moment. And send. But of course, it was a very good, excellent, successful race ever since in the all-wheel drive challenge 600 events to be at Kyoto Driving Park Yamagita to have the third vehicle to get the Toyota GR Yaris RC high performance as you may have ever seen on my video in part number 19 of the full walkthrough. But you guys did a good job out there to take an all-wheel drive challenge to be in the Nations Cup by choosing the Subaru WRX Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution X or the Toyota GR Yaris RC High Performance 2020 to be specified to be featured for tonight's competition in Round 9 of the Nations Cup at the end of Test Season 2 for the 2022 series. That's game and a wonderful race will achieve to be part of tonight's highlights for the competition before Season 3 will be coming soon. And there you have it folks, 
test season 2 in the 2022 series of the Gran Turismo World Series Nations Cup has come to an end from April 19th before tomorrow is April 20th. You guys did a good job out there in round 9 at Kyoto Driving Park Yamagita before moving on in season 3. So looks like let's go and have a final outcome in the event schedule to have 8 rounds since I have participated with the exception of round 2 at Sardegna Real Track A for the Group 3 class from April 3rd is going to have to do a cross mark to be labeled as absent. But I did 8 rounds to have one good schedule check reminder to have different car classes to be specified hashtag with a real car one make category along with three other racing car classes such as group 3, group B, and group 4 categories will be part of it to have the second test season. So what is my best moment in test season 2 in the Nations Cup is going to be a very good proud GT moment. Round 7 at Daytona Real Course to have two specified pickup trucks to be in the Ford F-150 Raptor 2011. But it was a lot of fun out there to take 5 laps around in the road course to have a daytime condition before I ended up in first place for the very first time in Gran Turismo 7. Perfectly to have my best memory on April 15 is doing a good proud moment to have a good American pickup truck to be well achieved and stay strong to have some installed parts will be doing well capable to do some preparations. But luckily you guys did a good job out there to take 9 rounds, we'll be doing a good follow up requirements to be on the BOP regulation along with some other car classes to be specified with tuning work. Good game and that's game for having test season 2, we'll be having a good archive moment to be in the highlights. So now let's exit out in sport mode before going back into the garage to have a presentation livery design on the 2014 Subaru WRX STI Type S to have my brand new UTRS in Sportec livery to be putting up with my Total Drama Self Rev Persona in it. But just the way folks, quick seconds, always be prepared for having a presentation showcase without having a roulette ticket at the moment. But here it is, that's my new design. I spent under 20 minutes to do some custom parts to be well installed to be on the Type A along with the roll bar cages as well. But I didn't have much time to do some full preparation to be as a final design but I'll make sure the first stage variant on the WRX STI Type S 2014 is a very good prep work to be as a tuner car. But luckily, the golden BBS rim is a very good spot to be on the Impreza to be well putting up with a custom GT wing. But I made it myself, but I hope you guys like it. And also to have a windshield banner to have UTRS Insportec to be powered on the rear by Insportec, made by myself, Hyperion Blue GT, Gran Turismo player, and basic Total Drama artist. That's how my self red persona to be part on the sides. Alright, now it's time to get ready to wrap this up before at the end of the video. So I hope I could probably have to get back over onto the GT Cafe for part number 20 to be in the full campaign on the walkthrough. But luckily, the fifth championship is Asia Oceana after menu book number 20 to have a good look on the custom wing. But speaking of which, I have already putting up with a custom wing on the WRX STI Type S is a very good rare choice opportunity so I could probably have to use it for the 5th championship event. But I'll make sure I'll have to keep on working until everything will might be doing correctly to do some more currency credits to build up with some more along with some upcoming season to have different car classes such as Group 2 and Group 1 race car class to be part in the Nations Cup. Thank you for watching on my video in Gran Turismo 7 folks. I hope you enjoyed. Just go subscribe to my YouTube channel for a like, 
comment, and click the bell for notifications on upcoming content videos if you'd like to see. And don't forget to follow me on any social media platforms like DeepNet Art, Instagram, GT Planet, Twitter, and more to see for my own image artwork like UDRS Libraries, Total Drama Fan Art with Card Libraries, and more whenever you're welcome at any time. I'll be seeing you guys next time on Gran Turismo 7, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Keep on racing, stay clean.